Hey guys, Lucy here, Video Wave 101, and today I am going to be going to the Warner Brothers Studios. Yes, guys, the Harry Potter tour in London for the third time. Yes, not second, but the third. The reason I'm going for the third time is because it's college trip. I don't want it to, and I can, so you're welcome. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just going to be vlogging along the way, doing like a vlog there. We're about halfway there now to the studios. Just stopped at a welcome break. And since I'm private right now, I'm going to do a vlog here. We are almost there. I think we're here. Hi, It's a weird on the right side. It's a gander. What? You can be her. What? You can be her. It's no sense. Where she's trying to make like wiggles. You can be her. Give that welcome, Rob. Who are you? Okay. After a two-hour drive, we are finally here. So welcome to Harry Potter Studio Tour. Woo! No. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Exciting. Alright, perfect. It's so, so exciting. So the tour will take approximately three hours, but it is self-guided in my area, and it will be guided. So if you have to go to the bar, you hold my hand. Do that. And it's right in the lobby. I can show you when you get there. Everything. Because we've got all the Christmas decorations up. Thanks. Unfortunately, under the hot 
it started to smell something awful. So what they did after that was they decided to make all the food out of resin, which is what you see today. So on this side, we have got the main boss of his size double, Martin Bayfield. He was a six foot ten ex-England rock player, and even he wasn't quite big enough to be happy. So what did come out with the great ball? And I like the approach of that. I'm doing this story that takes place in this visual world that it was at the same time.
never seen. Led by production designer Stuart Craig, these unsung artists created hundreds, if not thousands, of sketches, renderings, scale models, and even full color paintings that helped bring the world of Harry Potter to visual life. Up close, yeah. along with